Our homes are a reflection of the many people who have lived here through time. From Victorian era housing, to live aboard boats, to modern apartment buildings, each pocket of our community has a unique and evolving personality contributing to the character and identity of Port Townsend. Housing is a basic need and has risen to the top as one of the most pressing issues our community is facing, and we are not alone. Communities across the country are working to address housing affordability. The city, along with many local organizations and agencies, is prioritizing this complex issue in order to directly address our housing crisis. In part three of our series, we'll hear from Emma Bolin, Director of Planning and Community Development, and Mayor David Faber about the financial considerations for housing. Hi, I'm Emma Bolin, and I'm your Director of Planning and Community Development. We're really excited about recent zoning reform that's gonna help our community build the housing stock that we really need so that the people who live and work here can stay here. Housing drives the vitality of our city it drives the social fabric of our community and gives relationships a space to thrive. Additionally, property taxes and real estate excise taxes are essential to sustaining the city's core services, contributing $4 million annually. In order for Port Townsend to be a diverse and inclusive community, all types of housing is needed at all affordability levels. Housing types include townhomes, accessory dwelling units, apartments, and new this year, tiny houses on wheels. The availability of all types of homes contributes to housing affordability. Affordability levels are measured by the Area Median Income, or AMI. This model indicates how much a person or family can afford when they're spending 30% or less of their income on housing. Understanding AMI is important because currently there aren't enough units affordable to renters and first-time home buyers, or those looking to downsize. Apartments, townhomes, and accessory dwell units are more compact and can cost less to build. These are all known as missing middle housing. Hi, I'm David Faber, Mayor of the City of Port Townsend. I'm here at the site of the future Evans Vista Project, which is one of the city's major efforts to address the affordable housing crisis. We are a city of just over 10,000 residents. However, the number of people who commute to work or visit Port Townsend is significantly higher. Some of the people who work here aren't able to live in the city because of low housing stock and lack of access to affordable homes. In addition, people driving into town contribute to traffic and street impacts, but do not contribute as much to paying for our infrastructure. It benefits everyone to have the people who work here live here so that we can all share in our community's prosperity and reduce utility and infrastructure costs. With labor and supply shortages and historically restrictive zoning practices, building housing to support density and affordability has been limited. City initiatives to change zoning codes to allow for more housing diversity, like townhouses, are attempts to address these challenges. But there's more to do. We need to increase housing density while preserving walkable neighborhoods full of trees and trails we all enjoy. What's next to make more diverse housing options a reality? Getting new rules on paper is only part of the equation. Collaboration with the many housing partners in the city sets the table for housing at all affordability levels in new neighborhoods, like Evans Vista. One of the challenges we're facing in getting more housing stock in our city is that a lot of the remaining lots don't have infrastructure like streets and utilities going to them. It's really expensive for our local builders to put this in, and we don't have a dedicated revenue source to help them. One block of water, sewer, and road infrastructure can cost as much as $750 per linear foot. Many builders cannot afford this amount. We need to generate revenue that supports a dedicated fund for this housing infrastructure. Other communities use fees as a tool so that the more expensive homes help pay to construct the utility streets and sidewalks for affordable middle housing. Tools like this in lieu of fee are on the table along with many other options. Financial sustainability for housing is about equity and about working together to support a holistic approach. We all benefit when we come to the table informed and ready to connect our hearts and minds to find solutions to our biggest problems. You'll find all the videos in this series on our website, and you can share them with your neighbors on Facebook. 
Thanks for being part of the conversation. 